All right, YouTube, so <clears throat> Grandpa's got a little ahead of me. Uh, I was gone for 12 days, and he got six. Uh, I think there were four or five of the five S's, and then one six uh, S. So he's got two of them completely done now. I'll show you the other ones there in a minute. Working on, this was one, was one he already had. This one is another 5S. They all run, he got them all running. Here's a Clinton that he's going to do. And this is that Maytag that we bought from the engine show this uh, this fall. So I'll show you the other one real quick. Hopefully you guys can hear me over that crazy fan. But here's another 5S, he decided to go red. Someone had already painted it red, or maybe it came red. So, uh, it look kind of sharp, I think. And then he's working on one more in there right now. He built some skids for these ones. Three of them there. So, be all six of them will be done. So this is one of the other ones that's getting put back together. Hopefully I can see in the light. It's all painted and stuff. This one's one that was a little different. This has got the uh, um, rewind on it. Full part rewind on it. And this one down here is the other one I was telling you about. Out of the six. And it's got a hand crank start. So that's kind of neat. I haven't seen one of those before. So all six of them run. And they're all getting ready to get painted up and finished up. And they'll sit down here in the basement in the nice wood heat to cure, let the paint really dry. And then next uh, spring we'll put them out in the museum. So, but for now, we're going to start working on mine. I'm going to start tearing it apart. Just slowly pull a little a couple pieces off, maybe clean a couple pieces today, clean a couple pieces later. And then eventually we'll get it all painted up. So, I'll catch you guys back in a little bit once we start getting it tore down. These things come apart pretty quick and easy. So, uh, got the carburetor and gas tank off. Working on taking the carburetor off the actual tank. <clears throat> the only tricky part is this, the uh, governor. You gotta take it off with the gas tank or finagle it around. So, took that off. Starting to put stuff in boxes here. Over here. We'll clean up one at a time. What I did is I went and bought some. It's got this cleaner, it's in pretty good shape. It's got one little crack, or maybe two little cracks, but it'll clean up okay. Paint the top nice and new looking. And I went and bought a couple of these mufflers. These are at a surplus shop in uh, Pennsylvania. And I bought a couple more at Tractor Supply because they're fairly cheap. So we'll get these and we'll start getting ready to put this thing cleaned up and uh, taken care of here. So we'll get back with you guys here in a little bit. Hopefully you can see this little, uh, it's like a spanner nut almost. It's a jam nut. I just took it with a hammer and chisel and knocked it loose. And now I'm going to grab a pipe wrench and put it on this uh, muffler and get it off because it's pretty well broken. But I'll get that off. So I'll take you out and show you the other one he was working on a few minutes ago. That one got put together and uh, all ready to sit and let it dry. Now he's putting this one bolted down and then slowly put each part on at a time or whatever. And uh, new mufflers and all that kind of stuff. So they'll look pretty sharp. That red will be different. And I'll take you out here and show you. I just took care of mine, put it back down here. I did a little cleaning on the head and stuff like that. Just, I don't know, 20 minutes or a half hour of uh, scraping and whatnot. Just do a little bit every time I'm home and eventually I'll get it done. But uh, this is the one that we just finished up. Well not we, Grandpa finished up. This one here. So, not too bad. We're gonna build another shelf out there in the museum this spring and we'll have about probably 10 new motors to put up there. So uh, I'll get back with you guys next time. I'll probably put this video in with the old one there and I'll uh, do like a series or something on restoring this other Briggs. It doesn't take much, take stuff apart, paint it up, build a skid and be done with it. But uh, I'll catch you guys back here next time. Alright YouTube, so Grandpa's been busy. This one here, I believe you guys saw run over the summertime. It's a kickstart. It's a bigger uh, two and a half inch piston, I think. This one's a little bigger also. This one is, uh, I'm trying to think, because it's got the full size carburetor, so it's a little bit bigger. And these ones back here are all five and six S's. Those are the ones that are all done. So, as you can tell from the last video, I haven't been home for another two weeks. So, Christmas was yesterday, so Merry Christmas everyone. And I'll uh, just show you the progress here. So, all these <clears throat> skids are the same, just about. And most of them are made out of uh, butternut wood. So, he got all those done and all stained up. And then while I was gone, I picked up some more mufflers. So, now all the ones we've got finished will have new mufflers. Kind of makes them set apart a little bit better. And then over here, these two Grandpa made for me, just because he knew I wouldn't have time to be able to clean up and paint an engine and build a car all in one time home so we wanted to get her done so uh 
This is for the small one for my 5S, and this is for the bigger one, which I'm thinking is a Z. I think they said it was a Z or a ZZ. So this one, I haven't decided what we're going to do with this one yet. But uh, I'll take you and show you what Grandpa's got. Quite a bit of cleaning done on the other one there, the 5S. We're going to get ready to paint that one today. And this is what we're going to be using. If you guys watch my associated uh, hit and miss engine build, the two and a quarter horse, I use the same brand, obviously a different color, but uh, from Tractor Supply, it's pretty good paint. So I'll show you what he's got done in here. Oh. Alright, so here's what we got so far. Grandpa did a lot of cleaning and getting all this dirt and gunk and old paint off. So now what we're going to do is we're going to take it outside and I'm going to spray it down and clean it all really good with, uh, we're, we, normally we use ether or starving fluid, but this is all a dollar store had. That was local, so we're going to use carbon, carbon choke cleaner. Grandpa got the gas tank all cleaned up. The engine itself is all cleaned up. So what it'll do is it'll stay whole like that. Obviously the carburetor stuff will be off of it. Some of the bolts and stuff will be in there. That way you don't mark them off when you're putting them back in. But like I said, we're not restoring it. We're just going to go ahead and repaint it and get it all back to looking better and get it on that nice cart. And it'll be a pretty nice little engine. So we'll get you guys back here. We're going to take it. It's only like 10, 12 degrees out today. So what we'll do is we'll take it out and we'll spray it off couple good times and continue scrubbing on it and get it to where we think it's ready to paint then we'll bring it in we'll put it next to the wood stove and get it all nice and warm and then we'll just take it outside real quick paint it and bring it right back inside so we'll be back we'll be back here in a few minutes guys yes, sir. all right so grandpa put uh painters tape over top of the little serial number or data plate whatever you want to call it now he's just the easiest way is just to trim it around the edges once you're done then you can just paint the whole thing uh we did clean it inside and out even though you don't really have to worry about painting inside that much, but we will anyway, just to make it look extra good. And uh, take you in here, see there's a new muffler. Clean this stuff up as we're putting it back together, not a big deal. And then I'll take you in here and show you real quick. Got two new quartz oil. Oh. One will be for this, and then one will be for the other one over there. Sorry guys, I'm all out of breath. Running in and out, it's cold out. So here's the wood stove. Uh, that's going to be our side cover, we're just letting it warm up and then we'll take it out and paint it. Here's our gas tank and our oil bath air cleaner. So, Grandpa's got gaskets all made up just to cover stuff while you paint it. And of course your kill switch. So, it's all good and clean now. Then we'll bring it in here and we'll let it dry once we're all done. We'll see you guys back in a minute. Alright, so we got the engine warming. We got a quick start on doing like a 25% just to glaze on the other parts. <clears throat> a real, real thin coat. Just to get it to tack up, and then we bring it right back in and throw it back on the stove or right next to the stove. Get it all nice and tacky again. We'll take it out, we'll give it another coat. We'll probably go with three or four coats on the whole thing. So, we'll get back with you guys here in a minute. We'll have this thing painted in no time. So, here's this stuff to dry the kill switch and all that kind of stuff. Give it a few minutes. Um, we had one measurement on one of these that was backwards. Instead of being on, put a line or something, you know, it was on the wrong side of the line. So it ended up being like an inch and a half off or an inch off. So Grandpa had a wider board that way to cover the screw holes. So we needed an inch here. And basically we'll just put a wider board on in the same spot. And then restain it. And then that one would be good to go. It was just something, something got screwed up in the measurement process or whatever. Whatever, but everything else is the right length. So we'll get that taken care of. Uh, still waiting on the engine to warm. Decided we're gonna type it there just so I can carry it out, and then later on I'll just touch this part up here. So we want to get it nice and warm and dry, get all that carb cleaner and stuff off there, all the oil residue is for sure off of there. And then of course we got this painted. This here's kind of nice because you can just reach your hand in here and grab it like this and carry it right outside. But uh, probably kind of the quick way of doing it. But these are old casts and a lot of the sheet metals all bent up and stuff on them anyway. So if the paint's a little rough or whatever, it really doesn't. You don't even notice they still look a million times better all painted up. So we'll get back with you guys here in a, in a little bit. Okay guys, so here, here's what I was talking about. Here's our solution. Just put some linseed oil on it. We'll wait for it to dry and soak in and all that and we'll varnish it tomorrow. Uh, we'll put a good three or four coats on it. <clears throat> here's all the rest of the parts. They're all done. They're in here just drying. Uh, nice and warm in here by 80 friggin' degrees. Um, the motor itself, I did mine a little different than Grandpa's. He usually, if it has that top bracket, leaves it off. I wanted to leave it on, so mine's a little different. And then I painted my... He normally doesn't paint the part where the, for the rope, just because it just the paint wears off anyway. But I wanted to do mine a little different, and then I painted the pulley. He normally doesn't take the time to paint and clean up the pulleys and stuff. But uh, this has got two coats, so I'll, I'm going to go ahead and give it one 
if I have enough paint, I might give it two more coats just to be safe. And then we'll leave it in here to dry overnight. And hopefully put it together tomorrow. So we'll get back with you guys. I'll show you a quick clip maybe tomorrow or something of us putting it together or something. So uh, for right now, thanks for watching. Look how shiny it looks, guys. Uh, missed you out here. What we're doing is putting a long bolt in because we're using carriage bolts, drawing them down. And then because they're going to go up through to fit some shorter bolts in. We just got the last one in, so now we're tightening them all down. Looks really nice, it's nice and shiny and fairly dry. If it's in here for 24 hours or so, or actually a little more. Um, nice cold day here. This morning was about 18 below zero. I so was out here trying to start my truck and mess around with that all day, so I didn't get much chance to play with this. But uh, now it's a little later, so we're. Nine miles beer was 30, 34 below. Yeah. One of uh, our family friends was a logger about nine miles away from here. It was 34 below zero this morning. So, it's been messing with that stuff all day, so now. Trying to get over a little bit of sickness and get this thing put together. So it's not much, really just a couple covers and stuff. But man, does it look good. And then what we'll do is we put one coat of varnish on. We'll put some more on after we get it all on there. Just go around it nice and easy. Wanted to get it together this time so we can get it on the drying rack. So we'll catch you guys back here in a minute when she's all finished. Hopefully you guys can see halfway decent. But it uh, only takes about 10-15 uh, minutes to put one together. Take your time, don't scratch the paint. You know, uh, taping these off, and then what I'll do later on is once it's completely cured, I'll uh, shine that up the best I can. It looks really good with these new muffler. And then uh, there's another shroud that actually goes to here, here and here, and then it goes through these and this. I'll show you on another motor if I can get a chance. And I'm missing it, so what I think will look nice if I just put two small, probably what are they, quarter inch bolts or whatever, just little short ones. Anything you could do to offset with the black looks nice. And then of course I gotta paint this. But uh, clean, clean the oil bath breather all out. It actually looks really good. It's a little, the one out of the whole thing that turned out a little bit rough, but you can only see it in the light perfect. It's like right here, a little bit of orange peel, but not, not bad at all for painting at seven degrees. <laughs> so we're gonna find a home for it and get it covered up, let it cure for the winter. I'll uh, maybe do another quick shot out there once I get it set up, and then I'll show you the other ones that we're working on real quick. <laughs> 